Hey, buenos dias, que pasa, you guys? Welcome back to the channel, John's Moto Garage. Today I'm going to bring you a real-world review on these big boy ramps because I always have people asking me about them, wanting to know what they are, where I got them, how much they cost, and what I think about them. So I'll go over why I personally choose these ramps. I'll discuss pros and cons, likes and dislikes. And just like anything else, whether or not these are the right ramps for you really just depends what you're trying to accomplish and do with your uh, motorcycle ramp. So when it comes to loading up a motorcycle, you have tons of different options. You can do a trailer, you can do ramps, you can do, well, that's pretty much it, trailer or ramps. These are big boy, three foot wide by 10 foot long ramps. They come with an arch. I bought them on Craigslist years back for like 350 bucks. I think they retail for six to $700. So it's not the cheapest option out there or the least expensive. These are rated up to 1500 pounds, I believe. And you'll notice it's three separate sections and they're folding. So they are somewhat compact. You can set this up in about 30 seconds, get the bike loaded up in like a total of five minutes. So they're pretty convenient. The reason I got these ramps a long time ago when I did is because at the time I was buying and selling a lot of motorcycles just as a side hobby. And I didn't want to have a trailer because if I was at work, found a good deal, I wanted to be able to just jump in the truck and go pick it up. So a trailer had certain limitations that I didn't have with these ramps. These I can have on me at all times. And just at the spur of the moment, I can hit the bank, grab cash and go buy a motorcycle. So I've loaded well over a hundred motorcycles on these ramps. And I've always said, I'm gonna destroy my tailgate probably long before these ramps themselves will actually get destroyed. They've held up extremely well. You can see there's like a little bit of you know, possible warping just from all the loads over the years. But honestly, I don't have any concerns personally about the integrity and quality on these specific ramps. These are similar to your Black Widow ramps. I've never used those ones, but I hear quality is gonna be about the same. So for me, the biggest benefit to these ramps is one, they're compact. I can throw them in the truck. I have them at all times. For two, I don't need any extra help loading a motorcycle with these ramps. I can ride right up into the truck. It's super easy. I have seen people walk the bikes up as well. For three, you can load, like I said, any motorcycle. I've had thousand plus pound motorcycles loaded up, you know, big full touring bikes, Honda Goldwings. I've used these ramps for just about everything and it makes it extremely, extremely easy to do. The downside is they are kind of big and bulky, you know, so sometimes you have issues, especially if you have like two motorcycles, it can be difficult getting the ramps back in the truck. Additionally, over time, it will kind of wear on the tailgate, not so much the ramps, but more just having the motorcycles in the truck. That just kind of comes with the territory. But as far as the ramps themselves go, I've never had any safety concerns, never had any, any issues at all with them. So I highly recommend them if you're doing this type of thing and it's just, you know, it kind of fits the bill. Ideally, a trailer is gonna be a lot easier because it sits lower, but then you're towing a trailer around. These do come with this bar in the middle, just kind of your safety piece, tech just to keep the ramps together. Because one thing to note is these ramps, the reason they have their 1500 pound load capacity, it, it's all together that gives them that strength. Individually, these bend, these will bend. So yeah, you have this, you have your straps to load it up. That really is important, especially when you're unloading the ramp. There was one time where I unloaded the ramp without strapping it down, cutting corners, and this middle piece here slid right to about there. And I was like freaking out when I realized how close I was to destruction. Anyway, and that's pretty much it, down and dirty. I personally love the ramps, they work great. I'll continue to use them. In a nutshell, they're compact. You can pretty much take them anywhere with you. You can load and unload solo, so you don't need anybody else helping you out. You can load just about any motorcycle you want to. And the really, really the only downside is they're a little bit on the expensive side. Um, it is kind of a pricey investment up front. And then also because they're so large, they're kind of bulky, so you can have trouble loading them up and, and carrying them around. That's about it, big boy, Black Widow ramps. I'll put a link below to uh, Amazon. Maybe I'll get affiliate for it or something, but I'm not sponsored by these guys. They didn't send this to me for free. So here's your real life review on the ramps. Let me know if you have any questions on them. I did a video on how to load a motorcycle using these ramps. It's extremely easy. You just got to go for it. That's pretty much it. Like and subscribe if you dig the content. I appreciate the support, y'all. And we will catch you guys on the next one. Adios, nos vemos.